Supporters say once completed, the facility could hold 20 to 30 sports and the potential to rake in millions of dollars through tourism. When we met with Christopher Malone at Bethesda Park this afternoon, it was raining buckets. A star at Northern High, Malone eventually went on to play Division I basketball. That was one of my outlets as a kid as well. Um, one of the things I loved to do when I came home from school was jump on my bike and head straight to the local park, you know, get some shots up with some of my friends in school. So. It's why he's excited at the prospect of a new multi-sports complex, believing it can help keep kids on the right path. I have alternate options to, you know, go places and release, you know, stress or have fun or, you know, get things off of their mind. So. Sports is a great alternative way for it. The proposed concept includes a 250,000 plus square foot indoor complex for a track, plus a dozen basketball and volleyball courts, as well as 5,000 seats. An auxiliary gym and flex space would be 38,500 square feet for community programming and learning, and include an additional four basketball and volleyball courts. The outdoor complex would be 37 and a half acres, featuring eight baseball and softball fields and four multi-purpose fields. And as we think about how faster is growing, we have got to be thinking about the future and about what kind of facilities we need to have then. Robert Saunders runs Brotherhood AAU Basketball and thinks a complex of this size could attract tournaments. We have to go to Rocky Mountains, we have to go to Raleigh, we have to go to Charlotte, we have to go to D.C. You know what I'm saying? And those places have those sports flex, right? So why Durham can't do the same thing? Because you can bring those same teams down here and they can see how Durham is and see the, the good part of the environment. Organizers predict the facility will have a $35 million economic impact and host 100 events by its fifth year. More concrete plans set to be released over the coming months. In Durham, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.